In, diesem video, in this video, I will show you how you can integrate the hardware in the loop solution with the Profibus DP coupling into Simit simulation framework. You use the coupling when you want to commission your real control system. For the test, I use a highly available PA CPU which is connected to the simulation unit via the Profibus DP interfaces. This allows me to simulate up to 125 slaves per channel. The Simit computer and the simulation unit communicate via TCP IP connection. In the first step, I give the simulation unit a new IP address. This must be in the same subnetwork as the simulation computer. In the Simatic Manager, I go to Edit Ethernet node. Using the Browse function, I search the network for all the available participants. After finding the simulation unit, I give it a new IP address with the accompanying net mask. In Simit, I enter the new IP address of the simulation unit in the configuration dialog. The refresh function enables me to see whether the simulation unit has been recognized. I click on OK to complete the network configuration and then I start creating the Profibus coupling. Firstly, I go to the hardware configuration function of the Simatic Manager and click on Save and Compile. This creates the system data blocks that I need for the import process. By exporting the symbol table from the hardware configuration, I can also transfer the symbols for the I.O. signals into the simulation. Then I move to the Simit project view and create a new Profibus DP coupling. After this, I select the first system data block file. As I am using a highly available system for the test, I check the H system option and select the second system data block file. In addition, I select the symbol table in order to define all the symbolic names and I.O. signals. In the preview below, you can see all the slaves that are to be imported. Here you can exclude individual slaves from the import process. For example, this allows you to include real slaves, such as panels, during the virtual commissioning process. After the import process, I complete the configuration by allocating the relevant Profibus channels to the simulation unit. In the example, these are the channels 0 and 1. Then I load the configuration into the simulation unit. When the red bus fold LEDs go out, I can see that all the slaves have been recognized correctly. Next, I can start the simulation and deactivate individual slaves. I can also remove and insert modules to test the reaction of the automation system to these failures. In addition, I can simulate input signals to the automation system and monitor its reaction in the PCS7 OS. On this basis, device models and, if necessary, process models can be created. Connecting real controllers with the Profibus DP coupling of Simit Simulation Framework to run the virtual commissioning of their programs. Fast, flexible and easy.